It's definitely been exciting to hear all about the new products that Cycor has announced, as well as how they're moving into that composable DXP future and the investment they're doing in that composable DXP. However, one thing that I'm seeing a lot of people ask on Twitter, on social media, and as well as even in the summit itself and in the MVP summit is, how do we position these products? When do we use which one? And how do we combine them? And how do we compose a full solution from these products? And this is what this video series is gonna be all about. So I'm gonna start off by really going through what these products are, what are they used for, all from the Sitecore announcements. And then I'm gonna move into when to use which and how, and kind of common headless models, and when you'd go about using each one of them, whether you're running on .NET or you're running on a headless with a front-end stack like Next.js. So let's get started. So this is the new portfolio for the Composable DXP with Connect, Send, CDP, Personalize as Engagement Cloud, Discover and Order Cloud as Commerce Cloud, and then Content Cloud has Search, XM Cloud, Content Hub One, Content Hub Dam, and Content Hub Operations. And you'll quickly see that, again, there is a lot of components here, there is a lot of products here, that some of them seem to be doing the same thing or very similar scenarios. So uh, from the Sitecore website itself, I've taken kind of an overview of what each of these products does or should do. So uh, if we start with Connect, which is probably the newest product, um, and it doesn't really have a lot of documentation online, but it was announced uh, by Dave in his announcement, uh, it is an API gateway. It's a way to connect with third-party systems. The intent is for this to be that single connection platform that you can connect third party as well as first party products together and communicate with them. And it's in a way which is more marketer friendly rather than developing these APIs. It's more of a drag and drop experience and workflows to connect and ingest data from one system to the other. Next, we'll move into Send. Send is historically MooSend, and it is a marketing automation platform. It's meant to be a place where you can create campaigns, you can create email shots, uh, and really should be your central hub for marketing automation. Now, this is a big part where Send and CDP overlap quite a bit in some of these scenarios, where CDP, because it's your customer data platform, you're able to collect all the information about your customers, you're able to create segments there. And as I understand it, the future of Send is gonna be heavily integrated with CDP as being that single unified location with a unified tracker or a unified ID that can identify any user across the portfolio as a whole. Moving from uh, send to CDP, as I just mentioned, it is a customer data platform. It's based on Box Ever acquisition, and it's really one of these great products that is meant to be your single customer data platform um, where you're collecting all the information about your customers, whether it's from uh, external sources, third party sources, offline or online, as well as from your tracking information on the web. And I have a full video series on CDP specifically. Then we move into personalization and testing. Again, it's based on that box ever acquisition and personalization and testing aims to provide you a lightweight version uh, in XM Cloud, which is XM Cloud personalized uh, capabilities, as well as a more advanced feature if you need more advanced personalization features through that personalized. And of course, moving forward to CDP as well. So you can think of it as you get XM Cloud with very basic personalization, and then you can grow your personalization needs as per your needs ultimately. And then moving into commerce, Within commerce, we have product discovery, which is based on reflection acquisition. And this is meant to be a search driven way to discover about products. It has recommendations based on your search. It has all the things you come to expect from that. Reflection is a really powerful product and I think it works really well for product discovery. And we're gonna learn what Cycor has done is they've actually extended that reflection core capability of vector search into intelligent content search as well, which is the new product called search, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. And then we have Order Cloud, which is based on Order Cloud, which is that B2X commerce platform on the cloud. So this is really the e-commerce uh, solution they have. Uh, 
um, for the cloud solutions ultimately. Now, jumping into our content cloud, uh, first, as I said, search. Search is based on reflection. So it is kind of the continuation of product discovery, whereby product discovery is going to be like your full-fledged search, which has intelligent content search and product search uh, in the future. However, if you just need content search, you can use intelligent content search. Today, they are quite separate. So product discovery is focused on products and um, cycle search is focused on content search, but they're both based on that reflection acquisition, that factor search capabilities that reflection provides. And then we move into XM Cloud. Of course, XM Cloud is based on Cycle XM. Uh, so you may remember in our on-prem solutions, we had XM and XP, where XM was the solution without data exchange, without XConnect, without XDB, and without that personalization capabilities that comes with that. It had only in-session personalization. So this is really the base for XM Cloud. It's that. XM solution. And again, we're going to talk more further on what that means and how it's progressing because a lot of things have changed in XM Cloud. Uh, mainly, it is a headless first experience. SXA, which is something that was commonly used, uh, which is the Cycle Experience Accelerator, is now headless first as well. So the components that are that come or ship with SXA have become much less, that's one, and two, they've become built on Next.js. The rendering host that's delivered out of the box is a Next.js, um, and this is something, again, that we're seeing uh, will continue uh, focusing on that headless. However, that does not mean you cannot run .NET. Uh, you can run .NET Core, you can run a, a custom rendering host in .NET Core, and I will cover this when we focus on XM Cloud and the XM Cloud positioning. Um, you're gonna have to do more work because a lot is made for you in Next.js, but again, it's both of them are available. Um, now, jumping into Content Hub 1, it's what they've called an agile CMS. It's, uh, it's a much, more slimmed down version of XM Cloud. It doesn't have a WYSIWYG experience. It doesn't have pages. It doesn't have components as of today. Uh, it might have them in the future as, I'm, as we're seeing more and more of these headless content CMSs are moving to provide more of these capabilities. We're going to have to wait and see if Sitecore follows uh, the same methodology or not. But Content Hub 1 is really meant to be your contentful compete uh, where it's a basic CMS where people can just write content and that content can then be moved into omni-channel experiences. So it doesn't necessarily have to be web content. It can move to your social, it can move to your mobile app and so on and so forth. And of course, Content Hub Dam is your digital asset management. We've had Content Hub Dam for a while from the Content Hub acquisition and it is uh, a great product that I think a lot of people are using and leveraging today. Uh, just one quick note, Content Hub 1 is not based on Content Hub. It's based on a lot of the concepts of it, but it is built from scratch, from the ground up, uh, from Sitecore. Um, so going to the final component or the final product here, it's Content Hub Operations. And this is kind of the CMP piece, but on steroids. It's how do we provide that content hub or content operations where you can strategize about your content, you can plan your content in a really easy way and really intuitive way. And that's where content hub operations comes into play. So again, our this video series today, I just wanted to give an overview about all these different products, but moving forward, we can talk more about how do we position these products and how do we really combine them to create real valuable solutions for our customers. Thanks for watching.